sleep. But if you are asleep and you are still, you know, bound to the elements of this world, this mystery is far from you. Praise God. But in the days of the sounding of the seven trumpets, when you have heard the seven thunders, when you have heard the seven trumpets, and the mystery of God is finished, and the sons of God will begin to comfort. Praise God. The glory of God inside you begins to comfort. This is truth. Hallelujah. This is the message, the trumpet call of God that loses you from every chain of the devil. Lifts you up from the miracle and sets your, part of, your foot upon the rock of all ages. Oh, hallelujah. Where death can no longer be touched. Hallelujah. So this is the shout of the archangel. Praise God. So we are admonished as brethren to listen to the voice of the Spirit. So it, the archangel is the messenger of God, is the servant of God. Amen. It is it's the Spirit of Christ. So it is all these perfected spirits in Christ join in one and you speak with one voice. It's the same Spirit of God, the Spirit of truth that is walking, trying to cook in us day and night. Amen. Speaking in our hearts, walking inside of us, bringing our about and awakening. Resurrection from the dead. Amen. If you still live, think you are mortal. Amen. If you still live in relation to the altar, not according to the spirit, you are dead. Amen. But with this message of truth, with this revelation that comes from God, there is an awakening. We begin to arise from the grave. We begin to arise from the consciousness of dust. We begin to arise once more into the reality that we are one with God. In that reality, we rule and reign once more in the totality of God's glory. Oh, hallelujah. This is the revival that God is bringing upon the earth. We have to tune our ears to hear. Amen. Tune our ears to listen to the Spirit. That's why Jesus Christ would always say, he that has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church. He that has ears, let him hear. Salvation comes by hearing the truth. See, if we are not listening to the truth, the voice of the Spirit, if we are listening to the voice of, of the flesh, we are listening to flesh and blood, blood to that voice that, you know, rules in this outer world, we are destined for destruction, for perdition. See, the Bible says everything that you think you have will be taken away from you. The little you think you, ha you have as a man will be taken away from you. I mean, because you are walking in relation to vanity, things that are temporal, things that do not truly exist. But if we can Discipline ourselves to listen to the Spirit. Listen. Hear Him as He speaks. And begin to live beyond the parables. Because what we see in this elementary world is nothing but parables. If we begin to live according to the Spirit, recognize the truth in us. Hallelujah. We shall have more and more in abundance and until we rule over and reign over all. Because we will discover ourselves once more in Christ. Which is our true, 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 true identity that we lost in Adam. In Adam all die. But in Christ Jesus all are made alive. They are made alive as they hear the voice of truth. Oh God, hallelujah. The voice of the archangel sounding in this hour. Oh praise God. This is the last trumpet. Amen. This is the last trumpet that goes to quicken us. And the word of God is a quickening spirit. It quickens us. Amen. It quickens us from the dust. And it causes us you know, to be liberated from those things that tie us to this outer material world. 
Jesus Christ says that the thing that defies a man is the thing that comes out of him. In reality, man's corruptible nature, man's nature that attaches him to the natural world, to the outer world, is the thing that destroys him. It defies a conscience. Amen. As long as you are, you hold on to a natural human life, human nature, there's no way you can be held blameless before God. Amen. Jealousy, gluttony, lust, hate, and all these things that men exhibit, it's simply because they are locked up in a human nature. They are locked up in a material consciousness. See it? They are locked up in a corruptible sense consciousness. Their consciousness is limited to what they can see, what they can touch, what they can feel. But if you are waking to the truth as it's being revealed in you, if you put on the nature of God your fire and begin to awaken to the truth and reject the lie of your human existence, listen to the truth and conform yourself to the truth, you will discover yourself being liberated from that human nature that cannot be tamed. Praise God. You will discover that the truth will slay your human self. All along we've tried to make our human life better. We've tried to be good, but you cannot be good as a man. See it. The man of the flesh cannot please God. The man of the flesh cannot see the glory of God. He cannot see God's kingdom. That's why you say you must be born again. Born again of the word of truth. Then there will be entrance for you into God's kingdom. Into this reality. Praise God. So I'm going to round up here by saying that the, the shout of God. The shout of the archangel. Or the last trump. The trump of God. Is nothing but a voice of truth that goes forth from the heart of God, revealing the mystery of God locked up in you and I. It is the voice of truth awakening us to reality. See, if as long as we live in lies and ignorance, we suffer. We suffer and we perish and we, my people perish for lack of knowledge. You perish simply because you do not know the truth. See, but you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Praise God. So, the trump of God goes forth from the heart of the fire. Amen. And it can be, you know, it's the same voice that operates through the mind of Christ. Because the mind of Christ speaks the mind of the Father. Amen. And the, we've over, we know that Christ is a many member body. Praise God. Those who unite with Christ, who are servants of Christ, who live on account of Christ, no more have a life of their own, but stand on account only of the truth. These ones act as angels, they are angels of God. The sons of the resurrection. These ones carry this same voice of the Father and announce it unto the nations. Praise God. This voice goes round and it's a continuous thing. It's not an event that occurs just once, it's a continuous thing. Amen. People have heard this sound in the past, some people have heard it now, some people still hear this sound of the trumpet. It goes forth to awaken the sons of God who have slept in Adam, who are dead. It's causing an awakening so that they can enter into a new day in Christ. Praise God so that they can come out of their graves. Like Jesus Christ says, the hour is coming, coming and now is, if you can hear this message, the hour is now to hear the voice of truth revealing your origin, revealing who you are. Let's
you are revealing your origin in God. You are revealing your true, incorruptible, immortal nature. Oh, praise God. It's this voice that will lead you into victory. That will lead you back into your inheritance that you had from the foundation of the world. <laughs>